Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this design, okay, this particular design. Now without wasting much of your time, let's just jump right into the tutorial. But first of all, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and comment of this on this video if you find any of the tips helpful. Okay, now let's go. This let's set the background first. This is a new a new um canvas new page okay the color i used um kind of dark color for this the color code is 383a3d that's the color code now to set our background i went to photos and oops search for uh, black grunge background Here's the particular one I used. Oh, let me just check. But I used the black grunge background, but I'd like to show you the exact one I used. Where are you? Okay, it's this one. So increase it. Increase it. Just to make sure it covers everywhere. Now, I showed you guys um, a tip on how to manipulate backgrounds like this. Now, if I click OK, it automatically changes the other um, color, the other color that was here. So now it's just the grunge background. See, remember there's this color here as a background color. But if I use this to cover the whole place and click on OK, then that particular color is gone and we're just left with this grunge background. But I do not want that and I showed you how you can manipulate it. Just going to go back. Okay, now this is it. And I'm going to click. First of all, um, I applied, I reduced the transparency to I think 54, 55 or thereabout. Then I'm going to lock it. Now we have both the color is still there and the grunge background is there. So it's kind of two backgrounds in one. Okay, now we've gotten our background sorted out. The next thing I did, the next thing we need to do is to set our product. And this is our product, the shoe. Now the name of the shoe is a bro brogu brogu. Sorry, I don't know if I pronounced that correct, but you get it. So broke you, I'm going to place a text. I think Bebash new. I love Bebash new because of um how it's slim and tall. So we have bro you. So I'm gonna increase bro you, increase bro you a lot. And okay, it is bro you increase it a bit okay so now we have broke you in the middle i think i need to move this image also this image just a bit just a bit just a bit just a bit so the broke you text i'm going to change the color i think it was one okay not this one i'm going to change this color to a yellow white did it just change? Oops. And I'm gonna take it all the way to the back. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Do you notice as I changed the color? As I changed um now the color here. What am I doing? As I changed the color to a yellow, it's moved. I don't know why that happened. Canva needs to explain that to me, but um, I'm going to adjust this, bring it here, take it to the back. Okay, duplicate, I'm just going to increase it one bit, one bit, and then I'm going to duplicate the text, change this one to white, and reduce. Reduce the transparency of this. 
to 5 yep so you can still see it but you have to like look really deep duplicate it I think I need to increase this one So duplicate it, bring it here, take it to the back. So we have um, the text, we have, it's very easy how I achieve this, but we're not done. We are not done. So I'm going to add the price, click on this circle make it white and bring it somewhere here i'm gonna add the price how many dollars am i going to give this let's say it's uh, 50 dollar change the color to red at least people can get to see it increase it bring it here And then just to give it um, a little make it a bit different give it some style yep that's the right word so I'm going to come over to where's this place where are you where are you So, I have this saved here. I want to place a shadow just behind. Take it to the back, edit, adjust, increase the blur, reduce the transparency. Yes. So. So we have a price, we have a price, we have, we have a price, we have um, the product, we have the text. So the next thing we're going to do now is to add um, this text. So I'm going to copy this, bring it down here. Okay, and I'm going to copy this bring it down here now there's one thing I did that made um, the text a bit unique so I'm going to I'll head to element what did I search again it's uh, I think it's a 70s gray groovy background it's a groovy background So I'm going to, okay, this is the one I used. Bring it here and change the color to black. Take it all the way. Take it all the way to the front and then reduce the transparency. Um, that should be to a 20. Duplicate it, bring it here. Okay, duplicate again and bring it here. So, so um, we are almost done. Now let's just see it's similar. Then I'm going to copy this. This is a logo I created some time ago, and I'm going to paste it here. Oops, nope. The logo, I'm going to copy this logo and I'm going to paste it here. Then do the same, copy this element and just paste it here. So um, now we have our ads here. It's looking beautiful. See, it's similar. 
there's no difference i'm going to duplicate this so the shadow effects okay would be double so this is it. all right let me delete it so you can see okay here take it to the back so now um after i was done with this normally we'll finish this art design but just to make it look really good okay um after i was done with this the next thing i did was i created this now this particular um image here was this design i downloaded this design and uploaded it back into canva which is this this so i uploaded it back into canva and the background here was this so like the background as you can see this um is different frames different frames from the frame section i believe this would not be new to us so I use this particular frame I use this particular frame as you can see I use this particular frame so I just duplicated it duplicated it to um, this whole place is filled and after that I placed show images into every single one of them, placed it, then brought it here, brought it here, and I reduced the transparency. So I reduced the transparency, I set it as the background. The background was still yellow, though. Let me see if I can. As you can see, the background is still a yellow background. Okay, so I just reduced the transparency to okay, 15. 15. So that's, I think the major focus should be on this particular design. Now I achieved it. And I just showed you guys how I achieved this. Now, this was. I, like I told you, I just uploaded it and duplicated it, placed one here, placed another one here, and our call to action button. So there you have it. That was how I achieved this design. Okay. Oh, I'm so tired. Maybe that's why my voice is not sounding as great as it usually sounds. But bear with me and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. Another tutorial coming your way very soon, so just watch out. Bye-bye for now. Thank you, guys.